Hi everyone. Well, yes, I'm always telling people don't blame the person standing there behind the desk. Don't blame the person behind the counter uh, on the cruise ship. Don't blame the person at the hotel desk if somebody lost your reservation. It's not their individual fault. But I gotta tell ya, I yelled at this guy at the airport. So if you, any of you have been following me for any length of time, you know I'm going on cruises. And I was on the Holland America, Rotterdam. I was at the naming ceremony. I go to test for my flight home. I tested positive. Can't fly out. They put me in a quarantine hotel. I wait my quarantine amount of period. I head off to the airport. I'm there at 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm in line at 9.10. And the line is a mile long. And I mean literally a mile long. And that's before I headed upstairs. And it just was taking forever. And in, it was set up so poorly. If you watch my you know, cruising with Dom video, you'll get a better picture of the whole setup, the way they did it at the airport, because they were short staffed and just no control over the crowds whatsoever. But I want to get to a point where I got angry at an employee at the airport. And so I'm standing in line for about an hour and 20 minutes. I've been following this line over a mile, a single line all the way down. I'm about 14 people from getting into this other section where it starts like a Disneyland ride, where you're back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But at the end of that, I can see it goes upstairs is where we have to be to go through security. So I said, okay, we're getting closer now. We're getting closer. And right as we're about, just about to enter that section, they closed it off and started telling everyone to go in that direction, go that direction. And we said, well, where, where, where do we, don't worry, somebody there will tell you where to go. So we head off in that direction. And when we get to the, as we're walking, there's no one guiding anybody. There's no one telling anyone what to do. We're back in the middle of the airport where people are going into luggage and bringing their luggage through and going into the airlines and getting their tickets and all that. And we're standing here going, what's going on? And there's a security guard yelling at people and telling people to get in that line. And I look and that's the back of the line that I had just come from that I had just stood an hour and 20 minutes for the line already. And now they sent me out here. And I go to the guy and, I, and I'm saying, wait, is that the line to go through security? He goes, yes. I said, well, we just came from that line. We get all the way around and they just sent us over here. He says, yes, get back in the back of the line. I said, why are we getting in the back of the line? We just stood in line for an hour and 20 minutes. And he said, look, don't argue with me. Just get in the et cetera, et cetera, back of the line. I said, I'm not getting in the back of the line. He says, well, we can get you out of the airport if you want. And I said, I would love to see you try and get me out of the airport and explain to me how you're kicking me to the back of the line after standing an hour and a half. And we got into it. I don't get angry, but when he yelled and swore at me, that's when I lost it because I was treating him with pretty good respect until he swore at me. And once he swore at me, and I understand, he was probably getting it from a lot of people at that point, because I wasn't the first one to head in that direction. I saw a bunch of people who were in front of me standing in that line looking completely puzzled and bewildered. And I wasn't going to put up with that. I said, no, I, this is wrong. I know this is wrong. You're telling us wrong information. And he said, do you work here? I work here. I know what's going on. And right when he said that, Another lady was walking by with about 10 people saying, follow me, everybody, everyone going to security. You have to go over here to line to door C and go out that door. I said, sorry, is this where you're sending everybody from over there? He, she goes, yes, everyone has to head outside here. And I looked at him and I said, man, I'm really glad you knew what you were doing and you knew your job. Maybe you should go tell those people in line they don't have to stand there anymore. And then I walked away and I called him a blank and blank idiot because I was so angry with him when he started swearing at me. I and I, an hour and a half and he's telling me to get back in line. I lost my cool. I'll be honest. I lost my cool. Angry Don came out <laughs> and I lost my cool. And it takes a lot for me to lay, lose my cool. But I was, 
I'm in a, I was in a bad place. Just been quarantined. I'm flying on the June 4th, which by the way, is the same day my group cruise is leaving in Alaska, which I'm not allowed to get on right now because of the COVID restrictions, because I had tested positive. And I'm so frustrated by that. And then this happened. As I'm watching all this other stuff unfold and you have to watch the, you know, Don's Family Vacations channel to get a good idea of what the airport was like that day because it was ridiculous. Uh, poorly run, one of the worst run airports I've ever seen at the moment anyway. Not in the past. Been a beautiful airport in the past. This was ridiculous what they had done this time around. And so, <laughs> uh, let, let's just say that me and that security guard gave dirty looks back at each other all the way back till I finally, and by the way, I was right, he was wrong. And all the passengers around me were right, and he was wrong. And here's the thing, if you're gonna yell at people and swear at people, you better make sure you actually know what you're talking about. And he had no clue, but boy, did he make it sound like he was in charge of everybody there and actually threatened to remove us from the airport. If anyone should have been removed, it should be him, because quite clearly he had no idea what was going on.